work in the wireless and IoT security class. In chapter 11, we look at some of the security challenges in mobile communication. Here we look at some of the techniques and tools and exploits for mobile phones. We look at Android smartphones, Apple iOS smartphones, and Windows smartphones. Okay. Some of the uh, mobile phones uh, threats are one of these are malware, OS attacks, side load of mobile com uh, applications, communication systems, uh, leakage, outdated devices, social engineering, insecure mobile OSs, jailbreaking OSs, lack of user awareness. Those are USB Bluetooth connection, NFC tags, poor technical controls, unsecure application software, users disable login and authentication controls, users enable most basic form of controls, unsecure storage, mass screen size make efficient attempts to hard to see or avoid, system updates not installed, and mobile browsing vulnerabilities. Let's look at some of the tools and exploits. Okay, so you have surveillance vulnerability. So you have OD attack, camera attack, locations to being car dogs, GPS tracking. So audio attack involves switching on the microphone to listen to a conversation. Camera attack involves hijacking the user's camera to monitor the user or the surroundings. Location snooping is the activation of IP for a protocol for browser tracking and monitor location. This is a common malware to gain advertising revenue. The call logs um, attack when a call that recent calls and messages which can be read or stolen. GPS tracking is the activation of another location and tracking port to monitor location. This can be very accurate. You may have financial vulnerabilities like stealing transaction codes, which is commonly used for man in the middle attacks against online banking sites, stealing account numbers. This is possible when the phone is used as a data repository or mobile wallet with a unsecured data storage, making expensive calls. But, uh, this is a bypass the security measures to make calls. I'm calling in national numbers, sending premium SMS messages, extortion via ransomware. So this is a method of extortion where malware is based on phone that prevents phone from being used and the ransom is received. And we also part of a broadband activity like distributed denial of service attacks, sending premium SMS messages, be part of data theft communications. Uh, people can steal email and SMS communication. Uh, you could also give the IMEI numbers. IMEI number is a uniquely identifies a mobile phone. Can be used for a number of purposes like blocking a phone or operator's network. If you actually uh, look online, there are sites that can you can type an IMEI number. That tell you if the IMEI number is stolen or not. If we can steal banking data, credit card data, contacts on phone book, photographs and videos, call logs. If we can impersonate by sending SMS messages, posting in social media sites, we can also read the SMS. The majority of malware attacks in 2020 target the Android operating system. Consumers increasingly use their mobile devices for banking, e-commerce, and social media, making them a more valuable target of cyber criminals. You also have potentially unvalued applications. Developers create new ways to monetize the applications through connections to aggressive third-party advertising networks referred to as a mobile hardware or malware. Viewers in the security along with sometimes unwanted third-party advertising. 
some of the examples are a post ad war, dogging, quick war, and waps. Some of the uh, challenges in Android, there are criticisms of Android, a lot of ex uh, exploration tools, Android security architecture, Android application architecture, and Google Play. Criticism from security experts due to dangerous combination of increasing popularity of Android and its perceived vulnerable to attacks. The rooting an Android device gave users privileged control or root access and ability to download upload software, including security updates and even from third parties. Cyber criminals have targeted Android by developing malware level to end use of their Trojans. Popular game then distributes the peer-to-peer -peer software sharing sites. Some of the tools for Android are exploitation app, Android Red, can be bound to other application, can read messages and contacts, steal data, view video, record calls and more. It's freely available and constantly updated. The SD Android SDK. This is the Official Android development tool in a, enable developers to compile and decompile application for Android. Droid box, text of password hashes, text of files for read and write data, records incoming and outgoing communication, SMS messages and phone calls. You have a Android framework for exploitation, scans and network. Looking for security issues and vulnerability on Android devices. Have a risk in Android, calculates the inherent risk of Android apps based on their required request permissions. Let's look at the security architecture. It is designed to ensure the protection of users, data, applications, and devices by providing a secure developer environment. Android approach is to build a multi-layer security for an open architecture while providing flexibility and protection for users of the platform. We have security of the OS Linux kernel, the man uh, mandatory sandbox from application, secure inter-process communication, digital signing applications, user granted application permissions. This is the Android application architecture. The activity is a user interface whereby user can enter data or interact the application some other way. A service performs operations in the background, music. Quantum provides today's provide information to the third party applications. A content provider can be seen as an interface that processes data in one process and feeds to another independent process. Broadcast receivers uh, respond to system by notifications such as battery low or microphone unplugged. This always normally in initiates this notification or broadcast, a trusted application and can also be broadcast. Google Play is a digital distribution platform for Android applications. Provides market for users to browse Google and third-party applications for Android devices. It does not install applications, it downloads from its packages. Has an approval process for apps. Some restrictions apply to third-party applications. Uses application security techniques such as Google Play Protect. It is not restrictive. The Android devices on it may access application from other sources. Now let's look at Apple iOS. Apple iOS operating system has a component layer model. As a system architecture, it involves the OS platform and hardware user protect iOS device. It relates to sandbox texting and the application isolation. Techniques are used to safeguard against data theft, include file data protection, passcode and keychain data protection. 
techniques used to protect data when transmitted across offline net include SSL and data security. IOS application security, which includes digital authentication and verification, runtime process, security, data protection within the applications, sandboxes and service isolation. Internet service include iMessage, FaceTime, Siri, and iCloud. It also have basic security tools such as passwords, pins, remote wipe, MTM, and even remote access tools. What are those challenges in Apple iOS? There are Apple iOS exploits, Apple iOS architecture, and the App Store. In 2014, cyber criminals took advantage of a vulnerability in Find My Phone app to perform brute force attacks on passwords for celebrating accounts on Apple iCloud. Some of the other no vulnerabilities include uh, vulnerabilities in 802.1x, flow in iOS, logic issue for encryption, Bluetooth enabled by default, vulnerability in graphics engine, iMessage attachments persist for deletion, IOKit, IOS surveillance, mobile remote access trojans. So the mobile uh, M rights focuses on um, jailbreaking devices, and when you jailbreak it, you actually remove all the security uh, mechanisms. So this is the Apple iOS architecture. You have a Cocoa Touch layer. It's, this is where application development occurs. Then you have a media layer, which contains graphics, Audio and video technologies used to implement multimedia features in applications. Then you have a core service layer, which underpins the system services and application require. Then you have the OS level, which kind of low level features that are foundation for all the higher layers of the features. The App Store is a digital distribution platform run by Apple for mobile apps to help for the iOS OS. It's launched in 2008 with a library of 500 applications. Today, more than 2 million apps. It's the only authorized source for third party apps for iPhones, iPods, and iPads. Apple maintains App Store, monitors quality of the application uploaded by developers. Windows Phone OS is the replacement for Windows Mobile 6.5. Mobile 6.5 OS had a strong and granular permission and features could be controlled by a user or administrator. Windows Phone 7 had none of the security and management features, which was rectified Windows 8. Add a security and management features compared to the iPhone iOS. There are lots of Windows Phone exploits. We will look at Windows Store, Windows Phone architecture, and the security architecture. Microsoft security is notoriously strong. It's the same update patch approach as all other Windows products. Windows Phone OS is less likely to be jailbroken than iOS due to diversity of devices on which it runs. Exploits on Windows Phones are typically due to breaches of trust rather than breaches of internal security. Apps must ask permission to access phone to function as a user rather than as a startup. Windows Phone 8 has many security controls to protect third party applications. System is heavily compartmentalized. The sandboxing approach to application prevents them from interacting with one another. File and protocol handlers assist in app to app communication when needed. Interaction remains unlimited. Other mechanisms for protecting data storage include build locker disk encryption. Windows Phone 8 Home was a core system. Underline OS code, not all for developers, only APIs are used along with Windows development kits. 
Windows Phone on 8.1 is based on the Windows NT kernel. The architecture is a layered model. Application run on top of OS operating layer. Provides services and programming frameworks. Application used to create user experience. Windows Store was launched in 2012 with Windows 8. It is a digital distribution platform for Windows applications. It is the only source of authorized application. It takes a walled garden approach. Microsoft scans apps for security issues and flaws and detect and filter malware. In this chapter, we looked at general threats, vulnerability to mobile phones, some tools, exploits, and techniques for mobile phones, and we looked at Android, Apple iOS, and Windows Phone platform. Thank you.